Hello, I am Joel A. Erickson, Colts insider for the Indy Star. I am here at the end of the game. Uh, the Colts beat the Cardinals 21-13 to tonight in a game that was mostly played by backups. Um, there, there's some unique stuff going on where Sam Ellinger is competing for a roster spot, but not really against any other quarterback. He's competing more against the numbers game that they're, they're going through. Jason Bean had some nice drives. But really, this game comes down to who who's playing for the roster. Juju Brents uh, hurt his nose. Doesn't seem like it's going to be too serious in terms of him play going forward. He doesn't know if it's broken or not, but it's he was he was laughing and talking in the in the locker room after the game. Uh, Brent's played because he didn't play in the previous game. Nick Cross is still kind of battling for that safety position, according to Shane Steichen, which tells you what you already knew. This has, comes down to the uh, secondary right now, and they're about to get a big test as we go to joint practices in Cincinnati against Joe Burrow, and then a preseason game where the starters are expected to play quite a bit more. For the Indy Star, I'm Joel A. Erickson. Always good to have back-to-back -back, uh, scoring, scoring uh, days, scoring game days. Um, it's definitely a confidence booster, not just for me, but also for the guys up front blocking for me and for this team. Um, we think uh, as a team we have a good offense and a very explosive offense, and we plan to be very explosive this year. Um, so I think, honestly, we're just showing a glimpse of what we got the potential to keep go keep going during the season. Put the ball down, so i got to be better than I was tonight, regardless of all situations. Have you seen anything, I guess, because the last throw I think been wide left. Is anything there to that or just bring in this? Just, just swinging across. Um, again, like I said, it's – I feel really good. I feel like the ball's coming off my foot um, really well. I mean, all pregame, everything like that, halftime, kicks are really good. Um, take that with, a, with, you know, some confidence. But, again – yeah, the ball's down. I got to make the kick, regardless of who's the holder or what's happening. And um, yeah, I just I just have to be better, especially going forward and getting ready for Week One, going into you know the regular season for this team. I got to make kicks. I feel good about where I'm at and how I'm progressing. Um, definitely feel like I'm throwing the ball better and uh, getting the ball out of my hand quicker, seeing the game. And, and you know, I think it's it's hard to develop when you're not getting a ton of reps. And I feel like now we're getting to the point where I've banked a, a good amount of reps over the years um, and feel like feel like we're uh, making strides for sure. I don't know that. Oh, I'll find out more for you. Yeah. I don't. I really don't. He's a pro. Um, I think he's going to be just fine. We'll be fine there. We're still working through those things. Those guys are battling. Um, we got another week, you know. We're going to Cincinnati. It's going to be a big week for all those guys back there at that position. Um, we'll see where it goes from there. But he made some plays today, which was good to see. You guys carried a third quarterback on the roster last year, but Jules and Jason mm -hmm. still see that same way? We'll see. I mean, I think it's going to come down at the end of the roster and how we're looking at it and uh, the pieces and the puzzle that we're going to try to put together. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see how it plays out. What do you have in your Sam's a great leader in that room. Um, he's smart, uh, very smart football player, knows to go with the football. Um, he makes plays when he gets out there. You know, he runs around, he makes plays, and something's not there. You can see he scrambles. He almost got that third down on that first drive uh, when it was third and 10. Um, but he battles, he scratches, he claws. I uh, love everything about Sam. How was your second offensive line this time around? It's been good. It's been good. Obviously, those guys, we got some young guys in there, some drafted guys um, that we're going through. But uh, the continuity of those guys getting in there, getting those game reps today was huge. Um, we keep working through that, but I like where those guys are at. Is there any reason for uh, Dio playing as late as he did? It didn't seem yeah, we, just with the, every, with the numbers we had, um, we had him out there, um, and so we went from there, and that's what really what it was. What did you see from Jason Bean after today? Explosiveness. I mean, he made a ton of plays, uh, two touchdown scoring drives, had the big fourth and one conversion, uh, had a big third down conversion. Um, it was exciting. He did a lot of good things for us today, for sure. Another game where Tommy made a couple of splash plays. Just how have you kind of seen him stack days throughout the preseason? He's getting better. I'll tell you what. From last year training camp to right now, uh, he's making a ton of plays. He's making them in practice, and now it's showing up in the game. Um, you can see his technique. Charlie Partridge, our D-line coach, has been doing a hell of a job with him uh, with technique stuff, and uh, it's showing up on game day. So I really like where Tommy's at. Shane, obviously, the second string or third string is going to a lot of run today. I don't probably get a better idea. Just their execution, how they went out and did their job. Uh, obviously, those guys, they got a ton of reps today, which is great for those guys. They just get those in-game experiences, uh, which is big. And uh, go back, we'll look at the tape. But I'm excited to watch those guys both on all sides of the ball. With Juju, was playing today a function of him not playing? 
Correct. Yeah, he didn't play last week, so we got to get him out there this week and get him out there. All three touchdowns, rushing touchdowns. How encouraged are you by the surrounding game? Can you confirm that? It was great. I think we went for 166 on the ground uh, with all those guys that were battling, scratching, and clawing, uh, which was good to see. You know, and. Uh, this this game was an opportunity too for all our assistant coaches. A lot of guys called the game throughout on both sides of the ball. Uh, gave all those guys an opportunity to call it. It was fun uh, to listen to everyone call it and hear the guys going back and forth like great call. You know, it, it was fun. So it's good experience for those guys. Um, some of those guys have obviously called plays, but it was good to have the opportunity for those guys to do it. Was it, was it Jim Bob offensively? Yeah, it was Jim Bob. It was Alex Tanny. It was Tommy Manning. It was Kay. yeah. We mixed it up. Everyone had a quarter and stuff. And same thing on defense. Did you do that the first time? I did not. I think it's just growth for those guys. Uh, give those guys an opportunity. I mean, you know, everyone has goals and aspirations, just like players, right? Uh, to be coordinators and call plays and stuff. So to give those guys that um, opportunity was was awesome. Did you remember your first time like having that chance? I did. I was a quality control coach. Uh, gosh, I want to say in like 2015, I called the fourth quarter of the third quarter or fourth quarter of a Niner preseason game up in San Fran. So it was fun. Do you remember any calls? I remember calling a pivot over the ball, uh, a play action pass. I don't remember much, to be honest. <laughs> Do you remember there was just like a feeling of like, it's on me now? Is that how he was like making play calls? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you, you know, it's, it's interesting. Obviously, the first time I did it, it was, it was, I, was, I was young. I mean, I was my fourth, fifth year in the league, and it was fun doing it, though. I enjoyed it, but it is like something goes bad or something. You're like, crap, I should have called that. You know what I mean? You, it's just one of those things you go through, but uh, it's good. It's a good experience for everybody. I just want to see him keep making plays. I mean, that position, you got to make plays on the back end. And uh, the guy that makes the most plays and knows what to do all the time, that's the guy that's going to be in there. Shane, a couple games now in the book, preseason-wise. Do you like where this group is overall and what you focus on this week? I really do. Uh, I like where our group is on all three phases. Um, I'm really excited, looking forward to this week, uh, going against Cincinnati, Tuesday joint practice, and then, of course, preseason game Thursday night. Uh, and then before we know it, we'll be back here in Lucas Oil week one against Houston. So I like where we're at. We've got to keep going, keep stacking days, and just keep being relentless in everything we do.